Greetings everyone and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper, where in the last episode we actually made some staggeringly good progress on uh, setting up the churchyard, or rather upgrading the fence around the churchyard. I'm really, really particularly happy about that one. Uh, Alright, we're going to grab the cakes, we're going to grab all the wine because we're going into town today. Uh, is there anything else we particularly want to pick up? Uh, there are a couple of things. Let me see how much of this I can... And squeeze in here, and probably not that much, unfortunately. No. Uh, oh, actually, no, we can squeeze it all in. Hooray! Hooray for us. That actually works out quite well. All right, well, let's go and grab anything else you might want to bring along. Also, I noticed in editing that I'd put, in a, I'd put a couple of things in the wrong places. Ah, oh, what a scallywag I am. Let me get all of those sorted. We want the stone over here, naturally. There we are. Uh, I also want to pop the rest of the uh, the firewood in here, thinking about it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to now. Oh, that's a bit of a pain. I'll just drop it over here then. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Right, I'm carrying some extra apples that I didn't really mean to pick up there, but oh well. Right, now we're going to walk to the uh, town via the uh, vineyard so that I can drop off the um, fertilizer, we've got the peat. Uh, there we go. Got so many grapes ready for harvest, though. Oh, so good. Let's go ahead and drop all those off there. There we are. We can also walk back this way as well and pick up the crop waste. Now, we should be seeing Comrade Donkey somewhere along the lines. And you know what? While we're out, let's go around. We'll gather what we can and hopefully get a couple of moths and butterflies, or rather just moths, because again, butterflies you get at day, moths you get at night, from what I understand, but you won't always get them. A large amount of these flowers are, are ultimately useless to us, unfortunately, but that's, we can we can manage with that. Uh, I might buy some stuff off the, um, off the farmer as well, we'll see, we'll see, I may want to use my teleport stone to hop back and grab everything I need to get the trade license. Well, I'm quite tempted for that, actually. Uh, we don't need any any silk. That's absolutely not something we need anymore. You know what? We've got enough grapes currently. I'm not going to worry about those. We're just going to sell the wine. I'm going to hop back to the church. We're going to go and do a quick bit of trade in there. 15 silver. My goodness. Up to 61. Marvellous. Don't mind me, everyone. I'm just going to, you know, walk around here so you can't see. Still, still, we're, we're getting nowhere yet, which is quite unfortunate. I, I wanted to uh, be somewhere already. Sweet home. There we are. Grab all these apples while we're here. Thank you. All right, let's quickly go and buy that trade license, and then we'll make our way back as quick as we can to the merchant. It's midday, got more than enough time to do everything we want and still get back in time. Now, Comrade Donkey should be on the way. We're going to try and get all the way up to the stone fence in this episode, I think. Right, I would like, rightful citizen, a trade license. There we go. Purchased. Now, to get an aristocrat, we're going to need 12 gold. It's going to be a little bit rough, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Alright, got a couple more things that we want to improve in there, of course. Do we have enough to get back in time? I will use the uh, the cellar passageway. I think that's going to be the, the better option there. We can also drop off some mushrooms on the way. That'll help out a little bit. There we go. Right, on we go. So we're already reasonably... Uh, good progress today. We've already made a step in one of our quests. We haven't got too many more to, to play around with. All we have to do... Well, I could have gone to Ms. Charm uh, yesterday and just told her what happened with Snake. Alas. I have my trade license. Great. Now we're in business. Between my connections and your hard work, we'll be super rich. But first, we'll open our first office in this barn. Seems like a startup. Really? Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. We'll put pallets here, and I'll take crates of goods from here every trade day. Crates? That's right. We're in big business now, so we need to pack our products. 
a handy fellow, and I know you have a workshop near your graveyard. I'm sure you can pack everything into nice wooden crates. I'll try. Let me see. I think this dart will sell one crate per week. That's not too much. But nobody's heard of us. We'll need to invest in marketing and make our first sale. So our company has two main goals. First, increase our fame to at least level 3. That means we'll be able to sell 3 crates per week. Second, sell our first 7 crates. I'll be proud for us if we reach these goals. Uh, okay, how do we improve our fame? We use an ancient technique that never fails. We make a bunch of advertising flyers and leave them on the office desk. Hmm, in my world we use celebrities to boost sales. Brilliant idea, you can ask Mr. Charm to represent our company. Will definitely work. Or rather, it'll. I could also advertise our company during my ceremony at the church. That's a great idea. Now I know for sure that I've chosen the right person to be my partner. Oh, okay. Uh, trade? Can I buy anything? I mean, I could just... No, 50. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We'll just grab all of these while we're here. There we go. That'll do. Thank you. Alright, is there anything I can do? Build. Check. I guess this would be money. Uh, pallets. I need extra fame. Marketing campaign. I need 10 flyers. Okay. And that's one of the pallets. Alright. I legitimately wasn't expecting that. I think that is marvellous. Hello, Comrade Donkey. Thank you very much for dropping that off at my house. Uh, I'll go straight back and deal with it. Uh, there we go. Let's go and check on that corpse then. If it is a bad corpse, then onto the funeral pyre with you and into the graveyard with a uh, columbrum. All right, now let's see how uh, our new preparation place. On uh, second thoughts, I'm thinking that maybe moving that up there and having a second one over there would be great. And then we could have this one in the middle. Ah, oh, that would be so good. If only I thought of that earlier. Right, okay, well, we've got a couple of options here. Um, first and foremost, uh, we're going to say that you were gluttonous. This is gluttony day. See what we do? Uh, we failed. Um, were you particularly prideful? Oh, most, I, I don't know. Were you not empathic at all? I mean, we can get a three... Um, skull body out of this. We're not going to. We're not going to. Not at this point. Instead, we're going to take everything out of you, and I'm going to stick them all on the mortuary rack, and it's going to be grand. Uh, in fact, let's start doing that right now. There we go. All of these onto the mortuary rack. And you'll notice the mortuary rack is going to start filling up with bits as well. It's amazing. I tell you. Absolutely amazing. Uh, we're not going to take the flag. Uh, we're not going to take the skin either. I refuse. Those things, no. Oh... Uh... Can we actually use the flesh or anything? He can put us into nothing. No. So we don't need them. Don't need them. Not gonna take them. Everything else can be used for something else. Right, come on you. Let's get you on the funeral pyre and get our funeral pyre going. Pomp. And set it alight. Okay, I'm gonna... Trade over a bunch of things in here and shift a load of stuff to the grave, uh, to the mortuary. Now, I do want to... I'm just going to jump down the chute. I wish I could. Uh, I wouldn't mind setting up a second mortuary rack. Maybe moving that one around. I know it's going to be a, a, a waste of resources. And uh, whilst that does pain me somewhat, there's also an enormous part of me that just doesn't care. It'll be worth it if it looks amazing at the end. Absolutely worth it in my humble opinion. Why did I walk around it? We've only got five spots left, unfortunately. We need to start breaking down these items into the raw bits. I guess we're just taking all of the hearts then. Very well, that'll do. All right, there we go. Let's drop these off. We will get a second mortuary rack fairly soon. But once we've got uh, alchemical um, supplies up and running, Things will go very nicely for us. We'll be able to break all of that down. Oops, why am I dropping these off? It's not what I meant to do. There we go. That, these can stay for now, I guess. At least until we make enough room via other methods. Um, sure, bring you along. Also eat some mushrooms as well. 
All right, let's get you over here. There we are. And straight up. There we go. Marvelous. Ah, uh, why was I? I was I was not looking at that. I was looking over there. Oh, my lord. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. It's very early. I just pulled myself out of bed. I've got a Stars Without Number game. In a little bit. That's a, a tabletop RPG. And uh, I have not had much sleep as a result. All right. Okay. So, first and foremost, let me drop off what we can drop off. And that includes a story that includes some flowers. So, yeah. Okay. Wood first. Leave that there. Flowers will pop down here. We don't need a second um, chest down here. I don't think so. Um, we will if there comes a time that we need it. But I don't think we need it just yet. Though, that being said, we're starting to get a, enough of a collection of different flower, um, uh, produce now that maybe it would be worth it. I need to have a look at how much the crates cost to make, though. Let's have a quick look at these. Is that anything I can do? Packing table? Okay. Right. So, well, it's actually not too hard. Wooden planks, simple iron parts, and complex iron parts. Very well. Let's go and grab those. I may actually have all of that already. No, I don't. Much sadness. Okay, let's uh, make eight wooden planks, please. There we go. And uh, while we're doing that, I'll just gobble down some fried mushrooms. Good times. Uh, right, beyond this, we want to make all of the stone that we require for the fence. Unfortunately, I have forgotten what stone, uh, what numbers of the stone. I know we need some of the very decorative stones in order to do it. I don't think we need any marble, though, thankfully, because that would be a real potch. But uh, everything else we're going to need. Right, there we are. And while we're out and about, let's uh, pop back in here. We've got a lot of mushrooms that we can drop off at this point. There we go. And... Also, drop these off as well. Ah, oh, well, that's just annoying. Fine, I'll eat that one. Yomp. There we are. Let's get these squirreled away. And indeed, start work on... Uh, you know what? Sure, we'll just turn that straight into flour. I'll clear up some room. Have I got flour just hanging around? Yes, I do. Marvellous. That's actually quite good. Quite, quite good indeed. Right. Let's go ahead. Make another urn. Thank you. Okay. Making progress. Let's drop off the moths. Um, we're going to go... Well, let's grab all of these parts first. And get that sorted. Now that we can. Let's get a packing table going. Now, I don't know where we're going to be setting that one up. Where does one place a packing table? Oh, right. In there. Very well. That's a nice convenient spot. That used to be for crates. Uh, sorry for trunks, but uh, I, I wonder if it was always going to be a packing table or what? Box of vegetables. You need silver quality vegetables for these. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. At this point, then, I'm going to say we do want another trunk. So, more nails and flitch. One at least for nails and flitch, basically. That being said, I suppose I could just walk up here and grab what I want whenever I have the means. But, uh, no, we are definitely going to want an extra couple of trunks for produce if nothing else because at this point we're going to want to be storing the gold and silver produce so i've got a trunk here in fact we can have two trunks over here so one there and one here yes let's do that we have drastically upgraded hooray for us that should please everyone who's been uh, very anxious about whether or not i would build extra storage i just needed a reason that's all Right, let's move all of this out of there. So we'll pop all of this in there first. Uh, we'll also grab all the flowers and they can be they can live in there as well. The flowers. So anything that I feel is for the garden, but uh, not seeds, can go in here initially. This one will be for produce itself. This one will be for seeds. Um, it doesn't have to specifically be in that that uh, particular arrangement, but it's good enough for now. All right, let's have a look at what we can do in terms of stone. Uh, we need faith for this one. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a pain. Bit of a pain, to be fair. All right. Well, while that's happening... Oh, thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Excellent. Excellent timing. 
Truly marvelous. Jochen Bauer. Right, let's go and see what we got. Daddy's gonna annoy me until I fix it. Really gonna annoy me until I fix it. Oh, a good corpse. I accept. Not a great corpse, granted, but a good corpse. Let's grab all of this. Nice. That was very easy. Drop those off straight away. They're going to the graveyard anyhow. Uh, what we can do is possibly even put these on the pallets while I go and dig graves in the future, but uh, for the time being, it's okay. Uh, let's pop you right there. I need to decide where I'm going to build the graves. Um, sure. Let's get graves moving up here. Uh, no matter what I do on that side, it's going to be a little bit wonky. I mean, ultimately, that's just a, a little flower area. If I pop a good um, grave there, it's so much better. So, we might see us doing that in the future. Just getting rid of the, the little um, uh, flower bed sites. Just because graves are better if you can make good graves. Right. Uh, we need four wooden beams. Okay, we'll take care of that. Uh, we need two carved pieces of stone. Alright, so we've got an earmark six faith. Remember this. Remember. Uh, Alright, let's drop off you. Gonna need to bring over four wooden beams. Anyone? Oh, fantastic. Yes. Thank you. If we can get these upgraded, then we'll be able to get better stories out of them. Silver stories from people's confessions? I think that sounds amazing. Also sounds like pretty much a, a, a betrayal of people's faith in me. Ah, psh, it's okay, though. No. Uh, Alright, we want a distillation cube and an alchemy workbench, too. That is absolutely something we want. But is it something we're going to go for just yet? Possibly not. Stained glass windows sounds particularly nice. Um, maybe. Uh, right, writing desk two. We're going to want flyers. Let's see. It's complex fertilizers? No. Glass blowing? No, no, no. Jeweler? Crafted furnace and furnace suit? There we are. These are what we want to be able to make. To be able to make the very finest of items. Uh, gathering limestone, sulfur, pyrite. Not particularly big on my list right now. We've only got two recipes we need to find. That's very interesting. Um, well, I'm going to say let's start going through alchemy for now. So we can get embalming liquids and get embalming too. Uh, well, it makes sense to go for the embalming liquids, let's be honest. But we'll hold off on that one for just now. Anything else around here I particularly want? And the bookshop isn't that high of a priority for me. I think ultimately it's going to come down to glass blower because I think we're going to need that for our alchemy. So there we are. We will eventually get to the better constructs there, but it's going to take us time. Oh, we've got enough to make our very first item. That's actually pretty nice. Excellent. We'll take that with. Uh, other than that. I mean, this is going to give us more faith, ultimately. But this will give us more money. Bit of a pain, but it's just one of those things. All right, what are we going to need for all of this wonderfulness? Scroll shelf we don't need. Alchemy rack is definitely something I would like. I would also like some distillation cubes. I just need some stone for those. Ah, that's good. It's very good. But here we see that we need the conical flasks. Uh, for the alchemy workbench too, the alchemy workbench, we need both of these and the alchemy mill to be able to do what we want. We'll start with the alchemy rack, which is going to require wooden beams and flitch, and the distillation cubes, which require stone. Okay, we'll crack on with that work then. We can possibly dip into, uh, into the house and have a bit of a snooze. I should have gone on the wine already, but oh well. Uh, did I? No, I still don't have... I haven't made any more pumpkin soup to help me get a restful sleep, unfortunately. Not the worst thing in the world, but still, it would be good to get if we could. Ah, it's going to be midday before we wake up. 
bit of an annoyance, but okay. So refreshed. Uh, I am glad. Alright, let's actually drop these off there. Now we've only got another... Well, we've got another two corpses that are due. So we'll hopefully get those fairly soon. Right. Want um, one polished stone. Sure. Doink. Then carved stone. There we go. It's going to be glorious. Perfect. Oh, we didn't get faith for that one. Hmm. I'm a little bit surprised, honestly. Uh, very well. Let's make another polished stone ready because we are going to want that one later. Uh, we'll leave these here for now. Uh, I am going to grab a goodly amount. Uh, I forget exactly how much it was. We'll just take 60 to be certain. And we'll also get, I believe it was simple metal parts. Let's go ahead and do that. Simple metal parts. Honestly, we're going to use so much of these, so I may as well just make all of them into simple metal parts. And we'll just keep our hands here. Eating apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Except it doesn't, because apples are full of sugar. I, I had a conversation recently with someone who was uh, very, very... I've had this same, same conversation with lots of people, but this one sticks in my mind because they, they were adamant that what I was saying was not true. And it was frustrating because they were they were trying so hard to lose weight, so so hard, and it was painful to watch them try so hard doing the wrong thing. And that was that they they were very dutiful in not having sweets, not eating like um, candy and things like that. And I, I'm not a big supporter of cutting anything out entirely. I, I don't think I think absence of something. To an extreme is just as bad as as uh, as uh, indulging in something to an extreme. And in case of things like sweets, while they're never particularly healthy for you, they, I think they're good for your, <laughs> you know, they're the ice cream of the soul, if not the body. Okay, they, 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 it's nice to just cut loose and enjoy yourself now and that. Now, if you don't like that, then sure, don't do it. But if you're specifically holding yourself back and watching everyone else around you enjoying it, then I don't think that's particularly healthy. Um, or at least I don't think you're doing yourself any favours, anyway. Um, now, we're going to plant this field before we uh, tend to the corpse. Uh, but they had dutifully cut out all kinds of sweets from their, from their diet and uh, were still... Uh, they just replaced it with fruit. Now, on the surface, that's great. But fruit... Is sweet because it's got sugar in it. Now it's it's not processed heavily processed sugar, and that is significantly better. But it's still sugar. And if your problem is you're eating too much sugar, then replacing your sugary sweets with a fruit doesn't solve the problem. It just changes it a little bit. But it's still a problem. But uh, they they really would didn't want to hear that fruit was sugar. And it's like, well, if anything tastes sweet. It's because it's got sugar in it. It's because on some level, there's sugar there. And there are obvious exceptions to that general rule of thumb, and that is like sweeteners and things, but then they've got their own issues. But uh, yeah, it was, it was just one of these things like, no, no, an apple a day, just one. Yeah, that might be all right. A hundred? No, 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 no. That's just like eating lots of cakes. There we go. Let's get all of this done well into the night. We will be getting you all set up. Don't you worry. We'll be getting better fertilizers just as soon as alchemy is up and running properly. But yeah, this is one of the, these little things that uh, that I wish was a little bit better. Well, not not better understood. Be better taught, really, because I I don't think it's necessary that people aren't uh, aren't looking into things. But it, I guess there's, there's a part of logic to it as well. You know, well, it's a really, really sweet treat. Why do you think it's sweet? It's not because there's, there's strange chemicals involved, like sweetness, which basically just trick your body into thinking it's sweet. And in some cases, some of the sweeteners that are used are actually do just the same thing as, um, as actual sugar because they trick your body so well, it goes through the motions of dealing with sugar anyway, which was the problem in the first place. But... Uh, yeah, it's just, just just one of these things. Fruit are, is sugar. If it's if it tastes sweet, it probably is, and that's the problem. If indeed that is the the thing you're trying to avoid for some reason. All right, let's uh, pop you over there. Uh, okay, we've been talking about sweetness. 
Were you gluttonous? Were you gluttonous in life? Did you eat too many apples? You did! I told you. Told you. Apples are bad if you eat that many. It's okay. I will hide your sin by removing your stomach, and then all of your fat, and then also your blood. Uh, we're going to make you a nice, pale, beautiful corpse. It's going to be grand, I tell you. Grand. Let's get you in the corpse. Uh, and then we will put up some of the beautiful decorations in the graveyard also. Uh, let's pop you a rabbit there. And on the morrow, we're going to be able to go and deal with a few things, actually. We're going to... Well, should we go and get some faith? I think we should. Uh, yeah, I think we definitely should. Let's get a nice headstone there for you. Right then. Let us see what we can make. Yoink. I would very much like to see how this goes down. Ooh. Ooh, I did it. I did a clever. I am happy. I did a clever. I accidentally did a clever. Mm. Oh, you know what? That would be lovely with a lawn and a flower in front. What about over here? Yeah, same here. Probably be moving all those beautiful graves. Mm. See, I want to make use of all of the space if I can. And I'd only have two space here. Can I have lawns going sideways? I wonder. Hmm. Good question, me. If I pop this there, I'd move. I'd lose three corpses. I'd have to move them elsewhere. But I could get that in there. Okay, we're gonna hold off on this. If I moved it down there, I'd only have to move two corpses around. Hmm. Could I have something down here. I'd only have to move a couple of corpses again. But I really do like having it with the flowers in f Well, yeah, I actually like having the flowers in front, specifically the flowers. Because they're, they're actually quite uh, quite pretty, I think. They they fit in there. The only thing there is we would have a little bit of wasted space on either side. I guess we can pop one down for now. And then move things around later. But this takes so much effort to build. How about we start, as we mean to go on over here. I mean, I've got the little shrine in front, which is actually a bit of a problem there. Um, yeah, we're going to... I'm going to go and grab... Do I not have enough stone? Really? Oh, I didn't pick any up. Oh, that's just annoying. All right, let's move you. I know, I know, I'm wasting a book. But I think it's going to look lovely when we're done. So I'm willing to do it. Uh, we will need to pop into town. But it's fine. Let's grab these and take them over to the workyard on the way. We're getting to the point now where it's not just trying to get the numbers, but it's also trying to make the numbers look nice. Uh, I guess it's always been a little bit of that, but uh, if I can, I would like to be efficient about it and, and use up all of the available space we have. The problem for me is that I don't know how much space all of the things take yet. Future playthroughs will be significantly better at that because I'm, I'm starting to develop a pretty solid idea of what everything is going to look like. Why did I drop these on? Let's grab 60 of them, please. There we go, that'll do. Uh, oh, I brought along so many things I didn't need to. Ah, well, don't worry about it. Um, I'll just pop in, drop these off in here. In fact, we'll quickly make all of these into wine, or rather set them going. Yep. We're actually... Our wine is starting to get pretty good now. In terms of the production. And how fast we're able to produce more. There we go. Uh, let's go for the silvers. Yep, we're going to have three pails of silver quality uh, grape juice as well. Which is actually very nice. There we go. And let's get... All of the silver wine over here. Or rather, all of the silver pails. Go. And this one as well, please. Go. And then drop all of this off. We'll leave that in there. Nice. Oh, also the grapes. Are we dropping the grapes in there? No, we are not. Good. Drop the grapes off in here, then. And what's more, we're now going to take all of you with me. You're coming to another place. Excellent. We'll make room by taking some things back out, I guess, from the from the morgue. I can always use my uh, teleport stone to get over to the uh, alchemist. Oh, it was not that. It was the advanced metal parts. Well, that's a bit annoying. Uh, sorry, the astrologer. Alchemist, I wish. Though, I believe I should be able to buy some things from Clotho. 
I might see about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab the a health potion first and foremost, but uh, it shouldn't be too difficult for me to do. Uh, right, we'll drop this off. My inventory is a little bit over full with junk right now, as it always is, really. Drop you in there. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Let's go and grab... I should have left the beams in the graveyard. What a derp I am. There's lots of things I should have left in the graveyard, actually, and we don't have any more complex parts. That is a crying shame, but it's what we're going to have to live with. All right, go, go, go. We've only got a few seconds, and I do want to get over there. It's purely to pick up the faith book. That's all I want. Nothing else from that. But uh, a distillation cube, then. At least one. Can I place it over there? No, I can't. Okay, well, the distillation cube's going to live there, then. Right, and with that, have I got enough room in my inventory? I do not. Let's quickly run them. Uh, actually, we'll go up. Go out to the graveyard. Drop off the beams. Uh, thank you. I can't pick up these things, but they'll be there for later. And that is actually worth quite a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Drop these off. I uh, want you. And... Sure, we'll drop off 40 of you. There we go. Right. Uh, okay, can't waste any more time. Lighthouse. Hello! Don't ask how I just appeared out of nowhere. Don't don't even think to... I, I poop! I didn't check. You want to buy any skulls? No. Well, massive poop. Uh... Okay, well, you know what? Let's uh, let's turn that mistake into something useful. Every mistake can be made to work for you. In some capacity, it might not be as good as what you originally hoped for, but there's almost always something you can do. The, the whole thing of uh, when a door closes, some people just stare forlornly at the at the closed door and don't don't see all the windows that they could that, that have opened, or that would easily be openable by application of, I don't know, a little bit of force. A brick, a crowbar, if you must. Um, I mean, if you carry around a crowbar just in case doors sh slam on you, well done. You're very prepared. I admire that about you. Uh, but there is a part about the whole, you're kind of planning for failure. And that's not exactly something I I uh, particularly like. But still, I, I, do, I, do, I do admire your preparedness, if nothing else. A little bit pessimistic. But okay. Uh, right, let's grab the everything while we're here. Harvest all the flowers just in case we get some moths. And then the moths can stay there as well. What we're really going to do is we're going to um, ditch a bunch of the flowers. We don't really need flowers. What we want are the beautiful, beautiful moths that we can then use. Dandelions I'll keep. Mostly because they're not called dandelions. They are dandelions. Look at them. They're clearly dandelions, but they're not called dandelions. So there's a part of me that wants to believe they're daffodils. Little touch of whales here in this strange purgatory land. Um, mm -mm -mm. I do wish that my inventory wasn't full of corpses. That would be great. But I'm not going to throw those away. They don't break down into anything. I don't intend to use them for the only thing that they could be used for. So goodbye. All right. Sorry. Let me pick all of these up. Uh, you know what? White flowers. Actually, daffodils as well. Om nom 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 nom. And we'll work through all of the daffodils. There we are. Now we can pick up moths. Hooray! And we made a little bit of room in my inventory. Uh, we'll, we'll pick up all the daisies as well. That's fine. Dandelions actually quite delicious if you make them into tea. I'm quite fond of dandelion tea as a house. I think I pretty much just inherited that from my aunt who always made dandelion tea. Uh, there we go. We'll gobble down all these daisies. And we'll pick up the... I have no idea what kind of flowers these are going to be. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea. Because these are obviously daisies. These are obviously dandelions, though you could make a, an argument for them being buttercups or even daffodils. Uh, but these ones, no idea. Nothing is springing to mind. Chrysanthemums, maybe? I don't know. 
Uh, Alright, well, with that, I think we've got enough. Oh, there's some mushrooms over here that we'll pick up as well. It is worth just popping out and grabbing moths every now and then. That being said, I wouldn't have minded getting the medium rod while we were out here. Simply because that would help me catch frogs, which we're going to need to turn uh, a profit at the stalls. All right, use sweet home. There we go. Drop off our bounty of apples and berries and uh, mushrooms. Grant. Let's get uh, more mushrooms. Actually, how about we don't? How about we hold on to that? And instead, oh, we can make this better first. Uh, be this rather. Um, instead, we use that later on for kebabs. We haven't made any of those yet. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, we do need to go fishing though. It's actually becoming quite, uh, quite important. Sure, let's let's make one thing of pumpkin soup at least. Right. What have I got in my inventory that I can drop off? I can drop off the moths. Good. Uh, I can also drop off the metal parts. Also good. There we go. Uh, did I drop off the beans? Uh, no. That's fine. I'm gonna grab these while I'm here. Yoink. Ah, I did it again. Sorry, individual person in the comments who doesn't like me saying yoink. Uh, did we have a corpse to go and deal with as well? Might have, actually. Oh well. Let's head on over and see what we can do. Now, this Comrade Donkey. Yeah, Comrade Donkey's actually emptied out everything there. Ah, he did bring a corpse. My bad. My bad. Let's see if we can't salvage it in some way. Uh, it's going to be a difficult one. Let's take the heart. Were you a prideful person? You were. Either that you were in dire lack of empathy. Either way, I fixed you. No, 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 it's okay. You don't need to thank me. I mean, you can if you want to. I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't turn away such things. That would be rude. Uh, let's drop off all this. Oh, there we go. We've got five skulls. Marvellous, says I. Marvellous. Right. Corpse, come with me. We're taking you to a better place. Right, okay. Well, we've done a fair bit of work out here. Let's get that moved. A couple of new things built. Hello, Bishop. Don't mind me. Just getting some stuff done. Ugh. Backbreaking work, this. Let's fill you in. Hopefully we've got enough for it. Yes, we do. Glorious. Do I have enough flowers to eat? I do. Sorry. I need the energy. <laughs> really badly right now. Kuaz. I would like to get rid of this. Place down some flowers in its place. Do I get the book back? I do! Oh, happiest of days. That's marvellous. I'm very pleased with that, actually. Very pleased. Okay, let's see what we can plant. Um, oop, oh, sorry, leave. Uh, we want flower bed. Put that right there. And then, here we go, let's get you in place. Perfect, let's get that built. Minus six right now. Please tell me I've got enough energy to finish her off. I do. Because that would have been wretched. 18! <gasps> That's good. That's very good. Now, we do not have enough room along the sides to place graves. And it's a shame, but look at that. That is beautiful. Beauteous, in fact. Okay, well, with that done, let's go and prepare the sermon. I think we did quite well today. Thank you very much for the stories. Those are actually starting to really pay out. I'm very pleased with that. Let's drop this off. And grab our combo prey. We're going to get a little bit less money back from this, but it's fine. It's fine. I think it's okay. We'll make do. I am knackered. I hope no none of the uh, parishioners can spot all these humongous bags under my eyes. I'd like to say some words. Our church dapper. See? See? They much prefer that one. Marvellous. Okay, so we've got seven faith. How much more are we going to get? Twenty-nine. 
9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, that's much better. Oh, and we got the spillover as well. Best sermon ever. Not looking forward to the uh, lower income, though, but... Uh, oh, see? See? Oof. Nasty. Nasty. It's okay. It is okay. We will make do. There we are. We brought in a little bit of cash. It will do for now, I suppose. Uh, we're going to drop off an enormous amount of that and take three with us so that we can upgrade the... Uh, make the last stone that I believe we need for the fence. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Have I got enough energy to finish this? I actually don't know. Hooray, we did! <sighs> Melt it down. Yes, yes, please. Essence, and I, I need your vital, vital heartly essence. We need another distillation cube because that takes a while. Uh, let's drop. Oh, we can't drop all that off. That's a bit of a shame. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna take out a heart. I'm gonna drop that off. I'm gonna take out an intestine. I'm gonna drop off the skin. There we go. All right. Not more things are looking up for us. Looking up, my friend. Uh, let's drop these off here. Gonna need to get some more carrots for Comrade Donkey. But things are going well. I think we've done a fair old bit in today's episode. It was a little bit all over the place at the beginning, but uh, no, I think we took pulled it around. We've managed to progress a quest. We are also doing fairly well with our cash situation once again. Uh, let's go ahead and make another carved piece of stone. Oh, I don't have enough energy for it. But it's fine. It's taken the... Um, the... Uh, faith out my inventory, which is the main thing. Right. Gonna eat. Um. We're gonna have a pretty good sleep now. Ah, uh, I think we deserve it. Good night, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll join me for the next. But until then, and as always, sleep well. <laughs>